Hi everyone, I'm Brian. Rico. Susan. And we're here to talk to you about overreact, which is the quickest and simplest way to start your React project. So while we've been working with React, we came across a recurring and annoying problem. And that is, you typically start a project, maybe you draw your component hierarchy and whiteboard it like so, and then you start coding. You build one component file, another component file, another, another, however many you need. You need a package JSON file, you need a task runner to transpile your JSX and your SIS, you need a server file, you need too much. You're bound to have some errors, you're typing a ton. I'm getting tired of talking about it, I can't even imagine typing all this. So we decided to build a better way, and that's over React. By going to our site, you can lay out your components using our GUI, and then when you're done doing that, click a button, and all those files are ready to download to your computer. And we're going to show you how to do that on our site now, which was built using Overreact. Okay, so let's say we're ready to build our next billion dollar company. First thing we're going to do is click start a React project, and that's going to bring up the GUI. So if you want to create some components, all you do is you'll type into the input box the name of the component, it's going to pop up here, and we're just going to go ahead and create a profile with, uh, let's do an image over here, and then a bio over here. Now the thing I want you guys to keep in mind is that every time you're writing one of these boxes, you're actually generating an entire React file. And we handle the nesting for you too, which means that these are in here, that handles all your import statements uh, when you actually render this file. So once you're done with this, uh, we have a few more things that we generate for you. Uh, we'll make a task runner, you can have your server, if you want it all in ES6, we got that for you, and if you want your React components only, uh, you can get that too. So now that this is all done, we'll click on generate files. And we have a beautiful little NPM package that you can install. Click this button, it's going to copy this command to your clipboard. Then we'll go into the terminal. Now let's ls to make sure there's nothing in here. All right, now we'll paste, hit enter. It's going to download all your files that we just generated from the server to your computer. And now let's go ahead and open this up and see if we can show you what we've got. Okay, so now we have all of our project files. And keep in mind, normally you would copy and paste a lot of this code from any previous projects, or you would manually type it out one by one. But Overreact provides you with all the necessary import statements, and you see that the profile component is being rendered to app. And remember those nested items, so image and bio are being rendered to profile. Okay, so now we've taken a look at our code, but let's get started. I want to see something on the page. So normally you would go back to your terminal, you would run npm install, npm run start dev. <coughs> uh, we have a demo running, so Rico's going to go to localhost 3000. And there it is, the start of our project. We included a CSS file just to give you an initial visualiz visualization of your project. Um, but let's start building. So Rico, why don't you change that image text to an actual image? Okay, hit save. There you go, it's under for cats. <laughs> so we've got a really great response from the React community. We have over 375 users. And we've been iterating based on user feedback. Uh, so we included Webpack and Hot Reloader, which you saw in the demo. Um, so as you can see, uh, Overreact is really easy 